playing a drinking game with how many times I'm gonna say cut crease in this video. Don't do that, it's probably gonna be a lot. I thought you loved me, but shout out him, honey. Yeah. yeah. You had you a baby, and now little mama's a mommy. Hey, it's me, Imani Brief. Been here before, then welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been, then nice to meet you. So as you can see, today I did like a bold blue, almost like 70s style cut crease. Um, not really sure how to describe it. I think that's the closest I've gotten. Um, I feel like it very much reminds me of something I've seen in Euphoria or on Dua Lipa recently. Um, but I freestyled this look maybe two weeks ago. I thought it'd be a pretty fun one to try and recreate on camera, so. Yeah, I think it turned out pretty well, um, and if you're interested in seeing the process or maybe learning how to recreate it yourself, keep on watching. Before you do though, please remember to like, comment down below, and subscribe. Also check my description for a bunch of social justice links and resources, and let's get into it. So first I'm going to start off with my moisturizer and my primer. I'm going to use my MAC Eyebrow Gel. Okay, now to get into the actual eye look. So I've only done this once before, so I'm gonna try and replicate it and hope that it turns out about the same. We will see. So I start with this concealer to kind of prime my eyes. I bought this so long ago and I thought it might work as an actual concealer. It did not, it is very light, but it works pretty well as a base for when I'm gonna put my eyeshadow on, so it worked out. I'm gonna make sure to get it all the way up to however high I'm going to put my eyeshadow, which is pretty high today. So I'm gonna start off with a pretty fluffy brush and I'm going to use In Bold from the Whatever ColourPop palette. And I'm going to just go in right here because obviously I'm doing a cut crease, so. Bring that all the way out into the corner and going pretty high up especially because I have deep set eyes. So the cut crease is actually gonna be like up here just because if I put it on my actual like eyelid crease, I wouldn't show up at all. Play a drinking game with how many times I'm gonna say cut crease in this video. Don't do that, it's probably gonna be a lot. Now I am going to go and cut that. I'm gonna do that using the same concealer as before. And I learned this tip from a TikTok actually, so I'll link it below if I can find it. Um, but there was this girl who did her cut crease, the song like that Corvette Corvette song, <laughs> and it actually works. You put your concealer on the bottom of your lash line, obviously, and then you like just look up and it's supposed to like cut the crease basically and it works for me even with my deep set eyes so i'm gonna do it all the way and this looks so weird for a bit for a bit see it kind of did it yeah that's good enough that it is a pretty good guideline for me way better than if i'm just trying to do it like freehand so now that i have the general outline of it, I'm just going to go and, you know, fill the rest in. Okay, and I'm going to do it most of the way out. I'm going to leave this a little bit though, just because this is where I'm going to put the darkest blue, and I just feel like it's easier to figure out how far in I want the two blues to blend when I leave that corner. Okay, 
Okay, so I try to make sure that they're both as equal as possible. So I'm gonna use the ColourPop Blue Moon palette. I'm gonna go in first with a mixture of the colors Moonlight and Starry Eyed. And then I'm gonna fill in the rest of the lid. Okay, and then once that's done, I'm going to go in with a darker color from the same blue moon palette. It's blue china. I'm going to go in with this kind of rounder brush. Like I said, I've only done this once before, so it's a little messy. <laughs> If you need to put more of the lighter color to help, then do that. Okay, so I think I've gotten that pretty much how I want it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do it on the other eye. Okay, so I think I was able to get it pretty much the same on each eye. Here is the slightly more complicated part. So I'm gonna go back in with the same concealer I've been using, and I'm gonna create kind of like a, a wing shape. Just trying to connect like my usual kind of eyeliner area. So it's gonna be like that. You can see that you're gonna slightly fill that in. Not fully because you don't want to like totally get rid of the glue that you just put on, but it's really to act as more of a guideline in a base because the color I'm going to use for that is going to be very dark. So once you think you have the shape that you want, this is going to be the part you're going to go in with a color very dark. So make sure that you try and focus on whatever you're doing in this area. I'm going to go in with the darkest color on the same palette, which is clued in, and you're literally just going to start to go in and like stamp it. And then blend that out. I'll probably even go in with a little bit more of that other one. But this is most of the look. Um, I'm gonna put eyeliner on and that's gonna really make it look a lot sharper, but this is most of it. Okay, so I'm gonna blow this out a little bit more, but I think for the most part, this is the eyeshadow. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add my concealer and foundation. Color Pops Dark 46. And the Fit Me Foundation in 340. 
Okay, so now that I have the foundation, I am going to go in with that powder I mentioned to just clean up the wing. Okay, and then I'm going to add my eyeliner. Okay, I think that is good on the eyeliner. I really like the look of it. it ties the whole thing together. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put on my powder, highlighter, blush, all that stuff. Just a few steps from the door. Watch for them bottle caps on the floor. Puts me in the mood for something. Cause you're on my mind So I'll keep you in my memory Oh, you can walk this way towards me Darling, you're the only sight to see Feels like the right time Let me spit my game you know that this room got me moving this way So yeah, this turned out pretty well. Um, I would definitely do this again. I mean, it's not like a everyday makeup look, but for those like big outings now, and by big, I mean like, oh my God, I'm gonna go and pick up Chipotle from the store rather than have it delivered. Like it's, it's a nice look to have and just to feel like you're, I don't know, getting dressed up or something. Um, it reminds me, it's kind of like, the fact that we're in this like disco era now with music and kind of reviving the 70s it very much reminds me of a 70s look which i really like so yeah i hope you like this look if you did please remember to like comment down below and subscribe i have a bunch of other videos you can also go ahead and watch so check those out and i'll see you next time bye